Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to The Breakdown with your boy, DJ Odyssey. And I'm DJ Odyssey, of course. And today, we're doing some Afro tech, but for it, it's about to go down. But for it, it's about to go down. So I made this beat, right? So it sounds so great. So I figured, hey, man, let's do this. Let's break this down for you guys so that you can be able to do something like this. And, hey, hopefully, it will build you up on something. Just a tiny little bit that you earn from my videos. It's worth something, you know. So without wasting time, guys, let's break this down. So I'm going to start with the melody that I started with. So it's like this. So what I did on this one, I actually used three sounds. So with these three sounds, what I did was um, the first one, I got it from Flex. It's called a synth plug. Uh, it's a blip, so that's just the second plug in there, and then it sounds like this. And then I added Morphin. It's just the L, it's just the lead. And then I painted it to the left, if you check here. And then I added something else here. from GMS it's a synth but it's a buzz it says fake up so it goes like that so one thing guys that you don't need to forget is that when you get into the mixer channel you need to make sure that you cut off the lows it's a, it's very important it's the most important thing for me and I hope it's the most important thing for you too just to make sure that your sounds uh, even more cleaner you just take off the lows so that nothing is gonna clash uh the highs depends on what you're going for if you cut off the highs it it depends on how mood what kind of a mood you're trying to set up for your songs so if you want your mood to be more happy leave the highs my guy make the highs be very high but if you want your mood to be a little bit low cut off the lows the highs i mean cut off the highs a little bit then you will hear that it will have like a nice mood like a nice feel you know so yeah that's one thing i can give you guys and then i'm gonna go into this bass here So great even with this one i use two types of bass lines the first bass is this one it's just the face is it's just the first thing you find in gms it's uh, that aggressive bass line and so but you can hear that it doesn't necessarily have the too much of the lows so you put this up so i use an e flute for the sub and it's like that And then when it gets to the song, So I had to add like some kind of a vocal chop or a vocal loop in this in this case. So it sounds like that, and then so it fits nicely into the song, and then let's add some plugs. So you have these types of plugs coming in into the song, um, as well. I use three as well. Uh, let's get into this. So I use three types. I use the GMS and two saws, and then we want to play them individually. So from GMS, we got this drill attack, and then from the saw, we have this FG Ion banjo, and we have this one. Just check them out, and then so let's play this as well alone. 
you can hear it's even pen to the left and then another one is pen to the right it sounds like that and also it's on a higher octave so what we did was now let's play them together again i took off the lows on each one of these sounds and then let's get into the song mode <laughs> nice and then let's get into the kick as you can see the kick is very simple you just go fill each four steps and then you're good and from here i added this hit this hit is one of the most amazing things like like when it comes to afro tech and you want to be like black coffee you know those guys uh, you need a hit like this, <laughs> like this. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Uh, you have to agree that this song is already nice. So if you're feeling this already, please hit the like, subscribe, share, comment. Yo, I need this to be seen, you know. I, I need you guys to see this. I wanted you guys to see this. So please, let's help each other out here. So great, let's get to the head. Oh, the head. The head comes from my sample pack as well. It just dropped the premium Afrotech sample pack. It's an orchestral hit, and uh, it sounds like that. And then next thing we add the shakers and next next thing we add the shakers and hats. Right, it goes like that. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree that this is already a banger? And then from here we have claps. Amazing. So you have these claps coming in just to give it that more bouncy feel, you know. And then from there, where do I go? Let's come here to more synths. So as well, I use two synth this time, and then they sound like this, H, and then the other one sounds like this, and together they sound like this, and on the song they sound like, okay, I used this, it has to be harmless or hammer, as usual I get confused by these two. Because I don't normally use uh, FL Studio stock plugins. Then I use Poison. They look like that. And then from here, in the song. So we have some shaker loops, more like percussion loops. And some shaker loops. I don't know if this is too loud and maybe you can hear it on the microphone. So I'm sorry if the sound is bad right now. And let's come into this. I have these, what do we call these things? Um, down fills, down lifters, like that. Also have like a an like impact here. And from here, I added these other strings. Um, the strings sound like.
again, don't forget, cut off the lows. And so it depended on how I wanted the string to sound. So basically, I wanted to have a nice feel on the strings because I feel like the strings are going to be nice on the bridge as well, where there's not much going on. And then it would be dope to have a nice chilled vibe on the bridge. And then from there, I added the arpeggios. Sound like this alone. You find the pages in so on. So basically, I was able to finish a beat, an Afro Tech beat, using FL Studio stock plugins. The only thing which was not a stock plugin here was the drums, which are my drums. So basically everything is done by me. So great. From here, there's a different bass line. It's simple. So we add this here. So this one comes along and it's, it, look, it sounds like this. It's from Poison. And then, so I decided to add a sub to do almost the same thing actually to do the same thing sounds like this so it's just the sub it's just helping out the bass line and then from there everything is just straight they just look the same it's on a minor there and then you have these other sound effects like your risers and your fills Great. I think this sums up like how to actually make Afro Tech. I don't know what's missing that I didn't show you, but I've shown you almost everything, I think. And guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I forget to help me help you, you know. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I drop a new track like this one, you know. And then, yeah, guys, it's been real. I love you guys. And I'm just going to play this, you know.